All right, so real quick, this is the one that I'm actually excited for. Oh, I meant to pause the music. There we go, let's pause the music. So look at what this is, eh? Isn't that cool? I don't, well, I don't think you can tell what it is just by looking at this. Here, let me post a quick video so you can see it. So yeah, let's go ahead and install it because, well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. It's hard to do this one-handed. I've noticed. Uh, can I help you? All right, let's go ahead and assemble this. Instructions are a little unclear, but it says to just throw everything in this box, like such. And let's see. Let me read the instructions a little bit better. Close the box and shake until assemble. All right. Okay, let's see how. Wow. Well, that was incredibly fast. I love this new technology. All right, but now let's go ahead and install it. So we know it's going to go here. Uh, okay, I'm going to use a tripod so you can see. Yeah, let me use this as a tripod so you can see what I'm gonna do. Here's the thing, this actually works really well. I'm impressed with the arm so far, but here's the problem. And the problem comes with my monitors. You see this piece here? It's built into the fucking monitor. Meaning that I really have to disassemble the entire monitor, take a couple of screws off and the back panel to remove the piece. I absolutely hate Samsung right now for the worst design ever. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this thing. We need screwdrivers. And there we go. So look, this is what I mean. This piece back here, it's screwed to the back of this panel and that is the only way to get this off is by taking this apart. See, and the reason it's ridiculous is because the monitor comes with four holes already built in because Samsung knows that people are likely going to mount this. However, the only way to take this off is by taking it apart and that's stupid. And there we go. Now I can control the monitors in whichever direction I need to. It's so much more simple. Now for editing, doesn't matter what I'm working on. If it's uh, real, I can just tilt the screen and edit and, you know, continue going. Oh, I love this. But yeah, anyways, enough of that stupid monitor stand that looks amazing. It's time to install the RAM on the computer. All right, now that we have this disconnected, let's open it. What are we working with? Uh, there we go. Look at that. I have four slots of um, DDR3 RAM, totaling to a total of 16 gigs, and today we're going to replace those to upgrade it to 32. I should probably clean the insides of this thing while I'm at it. Very careful. Let's pull these out. Uh, uh. All right, and now let's install the coolant. Uh, here we go. What is this? Instructions? I don't think I'll need this.
I only ended up with about 17 extra screws and pieces. Not sure what that's all about, but it's working. So I, I did something right. Okay, this is working so far so good. Uh, I don't think you understand how much trouble I went through installing this. And by me, I mean like two people, me and my brother. It took it took more than one Rodriguez to get this done. More than one Rodriguez to get this done. Wow. Finally, I started this project at 11 a.m. and it is now 2 in the morning. So if you like this, you know, share it or not, you know, do whatever you want to do. I am going to go to bed. Good night.